Thanks to Microsoft's X input controller standard, almost every Windows game for the past few years works seamlessly with an Xbox controller. That is, if your Xbox controller itself is properly connected to your PC. If your Xbox controller is not connecting to your PC, here are the most effective fixes. First, identify your Xbox controller. There have been many Xbox console generations and even more Xbox controllers. Not all of them work with Windows natively and some need additional hardware. The newer model of Xbox One controller uses standard Bluetooth. The old model can be identified by the guide button which shares plastic with the front bumper plate. The newer model with Bluetooth has the guide button surrounded by the same plastic as the faceplate. That's the plastic around the thumbstick and face buttons. This is the new Bluetooth version of the Xbox One controller. The latest Xbox Series controllers all have standard Bluetooth and don't require a special dongle. If you happen to have one of the models that require the proprietary dongle, that's important to know because you'll never successfully connect them trying to use Bluetooth. If you have another compatible device, such as an actual Xbox console, another Windows PC, or a suitable mobile device, try pairing your Xbox controller to that. If it works with other devices, that points to the issue being with your computer rather than the controller itself. Also, do you really need to use a wireless connection? Most PC gamers sit pretty much within a foot or two of their rig, so why not just use a USB cable for a direct connection? Not only is this an instant connection, you don't have to worry about batteries running out midway through your game, lag, or an intermittent connection. Toggling Bluetooth off and on again in Windows often resolves the problem where you don't see your controller on the list of available devices. You should also pull the batteries from your controller and put them back in, just as an extra precaution. Consider the possibility that there's something wrong with your batteries. If you're using AA batteries, try a different fresh set. If you're using an aftermarket rechargeable pack, switch back to normal AA batteries to see if that makes a difference. Be sure to use the Xbox Accessories app to update the firmware in your controller, which will hopefully solve bugs that are causing connection issues. You can also update the firmware using an Xbox if you have one. Usually, Bluetooth is very good at providing a clear connection between your controller and your computer. However, there are several different factors that can affect how well that signal travels. Typical Bluetooth devices operate within a range of about 30 feet, that's around 10 meters, but if there are many other wireless devices around, that can be reduced. The same goes for objects that are between you and the PC's Bluetooth antenna. Speaking of which, if your PC has an external Bluetooth antenna, make sure it has a clear line of sight with your controller and isn't behind the metal computer case. Turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices that are close by can also help reduce the noise the controller has to fight through. Because PC Bluetooth chips vary so much and are manufactured by many different companies, it could simply be that yours doesn't have good compatibility with your Xbox controller. In these cases, using a third-party Bluetooth adapter might solve the issue. You can also try updating your Bluetooth drivers to the latest version. However, if you're going down this route, you might as well opt for the official Xbox wireless adapter for Windows 10. This uses the same wireless standard as the Xbox consoles rather than Bluetooth. It gives you most of the same features as well, which are not available via standard Bluetooth. You'll get support for up to 8 controllers at once, wireless stereo sound via the controller headphone jack, and support for in-game chat. This new adapter works with both Xbox One and Xbox Series controllers, but not Xbox 360 controllers. Hopefully, your Xbox controller is now back to normal and working as intended. If none of these fixes worked for you, chances are your controller needs attention from a technician. Unless it's still under warranty, however, it might be more economical simply to replace it with a new one. See you next time.